Hello everybody. This is going to be a 30 minute quick wake up in the morning and move your body practice. It's for all levels. If you have props at home, go ahead and grab two blocks and a strap. And if you don't have props, that is fine for some balancing later. You can use something like a water bottle or um, you know, a little stool for extra stability and balance. Um, and for the strap, don't worry about it. A towel works as well or a long string or something um, to use this as a as a prop leader, okay? So let's begin. My name is Laura Mary. I will be leading you through practice. We're going to come into Supta Baddha Konasana on our back, okay? So set the blocks up this way, one, um, the long edge parallel to the back edge of the mat, and then the other perpendicular to that, with the long edge perpendicular to the further away from you blocks long edge. Okay, and then so you have to from here, you're going to lower down to your elbows, okay? So you're going to position this um, nearest block uh, right on the spine, the mid-upper back, okay? From there, gently goal post your arms up to the side. So I mentioned this was a, a get up and move your body practice uh, suitable for the morning time. It is morning time here in Hawaii, and I just woke up, and things are a little tight and stiff, so I'm just going to breathe into areas of tightness and tension. So right away here, as your head falls back, feel your throat start to open as you open up through this region. Get ready to, to just be open for your day ahead. Allow your elbows to gently fall down to the mat. And close your eyes. And start to ease into breathing. Fill up all the way. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath like that. And exhale. Now just start to examine the hips the inner thighs, even the knees and ankles, and allow them to just kind of with gravity fall down towards the mat. You can move your arms in any way that feels good. If you start to meet resistance through the arms, you can move them and pause in that area of tightness or tension and just breathe, let the breath help open you. Every exhale, sink deeper. Take one more breath. Gently from here, push down through the feet, hug your knees together, pop up onto your elbows, lift your head, and we're going to set these blocks over to uh, the side, maybe the front of your mat, and lay down on your back. If you have a strap, grab it. If you have a towel, go ahead and grab it. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to take the right leg high to the sky. So first thing in the morning, this can be really darn tight. Loop the ball down of the right foot, and then just extend the left leg long. Start to breathe here, lengthening out all of these posterior muscles down the posterior aspect of your thigh and leg. And allow the left hip to just more passively be stretched here. Take another deep inhale, spreading through the toes. And then exhale, draw your heel over to the right side. As I might hit my signs over here, you, you need a wall. You can actually push into the wall and that is a, a way to kind of push in deeper to the stretch. There we go. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Straps are really great because in this case, they serve as an extension of your arm, and it allows you to keep your upper body, your shoulders grounded on the mat, and still get a really nice stretch through the leg, all the way down, in this case, to the uh, heel. Take one more breath. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Pass the strap into the left hand, and steer your leg across to the left. 
for supine twist. Relax the right shoulder down. Here with the strap, it is extra helpful in allowing you to really feel this IT band stretch down the lateral aspect of your thigh by keeping the right knee straight and lowering the right shoulder down. So all these movements are, are possible thanks to having the, the longer arms because of the strap here. Take one more breath. Exhale. Inhale, reach the right leg back up. And we're going to switch out the legs. Good. Left leg high. Right leg long. And relax there. So check in on this side. Stretching out the back of the leg. Relax your shoulders. Just start to get even more connected to your breath here. Inhale. Exhale. So getting moving first thing in the morning is, is really helpful just to kind of jumpstart circulation, lymphatic system, um, and an overall mood and energy. If we, if we get moving earlier when our cortisol levels are higher first thing in the morning, we're taking advantage of that, that boost and fitting in our, our movement time down. Take one more breath here. Exhale. Draw your leg over to the left and relax there. So if I were to allow my left arm, my elbow, to straighten and extend, then I get a nice little stretch actually through my biceps Brachii muscle here and through the anterior aspect of my chest. <clears throat> so first thing in the morning I get moving, I take advantage of the higher cortisol levels, I jump start circulation and the lymphatic system and so that removal of toxins and facilitating that flow of lymph. But also just moving my joints. Take your leg high, inhale, and supine twist on your exhale. If you have a wall, you can scooch left, guide your leg over, you can scooch even more. <clears throat> but the last aspect of, of why it's sometimes helpful to fit in your, your practice early is it sets the tone for your day. So you've already fit it in. You don't need to worry about what's going to happen later in the day. You don't need to worry about picking up kids from school or finishing a work project in order to finally fit in your new time, but you've already checked that box. You've already got it in. Um, and it also kind of sets the groundwork for feeling successful for the day. So you know you've already taken care of yourself. You check that first box successfully. Take an inhale, reach your leg high, and set the strap over to one side. Good. Guide your knees into your chest. We'll just do one neutralizing squeeze here. Hug your thighs in. And then really quickly, within the moving pose, extend the left leg long, interlace your fingers. Hook your right elbow to the crook of the um, front knee. And then switch. Sit side. Good. And then hug knees in. Wrap your way on up. Inhale, come to tabletop pose, all fours. Hold on your exhale. Good. So right away in your tabletop, let's actually stretch the wrist extensor muscles. Put the back of your hands down. Guide your hips back. Good. That'll do. Flip the palms down. So fingers now point towards your knees. And then gently guide the hips back. You can stretch the feet by tucking your toes. <laughs> All right, we are ready. Hands down. On your inhale, come to cow pose. Drop your belly. Lift the chest, lengthen through the collarbone, look up. Exhale, cat, push the ground away. Lift up between the shoulder blades, drop your head. Inhale, cow pose. Lift the chest. Exhale, cat, push the ground away. Maybe press your tops of feet. Inhale, cow, tuck your toes. Exhale, cow. One more. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale back to neutral. Extend the right arm forward and the left leg back. This is one of the greatest warm-ups for everyone, but particularly if you're a runner. So this is my go-to, one of my first poses, post-run. Lengthen everything out, take an inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, push down through the left palm so you're feeling that spaciousness behind the left shoulder blade. Inhale, reach, extend. Elbow to knee, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep going. One more. Squaring the right hip. Elbow to knee. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tabletop. Take a deep breath. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips nice and high. Scoot your feet back just slightly from that former tabletop position and start to pedal out your heels one by one. Again, facilitating that blood flow. And now in this case, it's more to the calf muscles, which as you're sleeping, you're pointing your toes, if anything. You're not dorsiflexing like we are right now. You're in a plantar flex position. So our calf muscles on the back side, posteriorly, can get really quite tight. Good. And then when you're ready, feeling warm through the lower body and lower legs, just pause. Just let your head relax. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, open dog bend at the knee. Open through your hip. Flex and point the right ankle. And then circle the ankle, switch directions. Inhale, square your hip, down dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, open dog, flex and point the ankle. Good, just warming up the joints, circle ankle. Switch directions. And square inhale, down dog, exhale. Good, walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. And the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees and find opposite elbow, ragdoll. Sway your torso out side to side, let your head hang. And release your hands, walk feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more inhale, and exhale, fold. And walk your hands forward. Separate feet, hips with distance. Good. Take a breath in, look forward. Exhale, step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, tug off side. Rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Sama CTV standing at attention. Take a moment here and just kind of dial in. So we've talked a lot about warming up the body, of the tissues, taking advantage of the higher cortisol levels first thing in the morning. So now mentally set your intention for the day ahead. It could be anything, maybe one word that you want to magnify, like gratitude. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Smelling that intention. One more. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. With your eyes open. Hands down. Inhale, reach up, mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Step your feet back, high plank. Inhale there. Exhale, maybe drop the knees, chaturanga, all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra, lift the chest. Press down through the tops of your feet, hover your hands. And then exhale, push back, child pose. Knees wide, feet together to touch, forehead down. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high. Good. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, rise all the way up. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, maybe with the knees lifted or down mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Either works. If you're in up dog with the knees, lift through the crown. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips nice and high. Big exhale. Marsane, inhale, look forward, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, Sama Sisihi, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, step your feet back, mid plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, great. Inhale, and exhale. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Walk feet together, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Chair pose, bend your knees, reach your arms high. Pulling the upper arms back so that they frame your ears roughly. You can cactus arms, you can take a chest expansion, really any arm expression here, but we're focusing primarily on warming up the lower body and the legs. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. As you look down, lift the toes. One more inhale. Fold it forward, exhale, bring belly down towards the thighs, lift your knuckles up overhead, keeping that chest expansion. One more breath, exhale. Release your hands, inhale, halfway. Exhale, walk hands forward, high plank, scoot your feet back, and then inhale, lower knees, tabletop. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good, inhale back to neutral. And extend the right arm up towards the sky. Thread the needle, exhale, take your right arm through. Lower your right shoulder and right cheek. And then walk the left fingertips forward. So you can keep the elbow bent and retract the left scapula. Or you could extend to the left elbow and just kind of enjoy that lengthening. With the bottom arm. Ease your way into deepening as you gently lean back towards the right side. Take a deep breath. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Walk your left hand back. Inhale, right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, thread a needle. Take the left arm through, lower left cheek to the mat. Walk your right hand forward, keeping a bend in the right elbow. Retract the right shoulder blade or extend the right elbow straight. And just enjoy that lengthening. Deep breath here. Big exhale. One more. Leaning back to the left. <clears throat> Walk your right hand back. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, tabletop. Good. Sit back on your heels. Head above the heart. Close your eyes. All things should be feeling a little bit more stimulated. Take this moment to once again ground down. Palms can face down for more grounding. If you're still feeling a little tired, flip your palms up to stimulate and receive some more energy. Deep breath. Exhale. Inhale, hands forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips, knees, and high. 
Good. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, guide the right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one, anchor the left heel. <clears throat> Take your arms up high to the sky. Bring your hands onto shoulders. Steer the right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, so they're pointing forward and square. Same thing with your hips, although they won't be perfectly square. Take your arms high. Push that back leg straight, so extending at the knee, and then as best you can at the hip. If it's really, really tight, shorten your stance. You can also make your stance a little wider. Point the left toes off 45 degrees. Take another deep breath. Exhale, bring your hands forward, and then open for your two. Arms nice and wide here, so expansive here through the chest. Point your right knee forward. Right heel bisects the left arch with the middle, align down the middle of your mat. Look forward. Take a deep inhale. Big exhale. It's easy here today. One more. Exhale. Lift your right palm up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Leaning back towards the back of your mat. Simultaneously drive the right knee forward. <clears throat> you can let the right elbow bend. This will deepen the stretch at one of the, the triceps muscles, the lateral head of your triceps. One more inhale. Exhale, push the right leg straight in, come into Trikonasana. Reach, reach, reach the right arm forward and down, and then left arm high to the sky. Take up space here once again. So think really long arms and reach, lengthening that wingspan. Press your head back, lean back. One more breath. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Rise on up. Exhale, pivot the right toes to the left side of your mat. And come to Prasarita with your feet parallel or toes slightly in. Folding from the hips, drop your head. Let your head just relax. Inhale, lift up to fingertips. Exhale, twist the right arm high. Keep your back nice and long. Circle the wrist. Press through the outer edges of your feet as best you can. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen through the fingertips and the spine. And exhale, left arm high. Twist to the back. Press through the knife edge side of your feet. Last inhale. Exhale and fold. Good. Halfway lift there in your prosperito. Inhale. Runner's lunge to the front of your mat. Exhale. Lower the left knee. Walk the right foot wide. Come down to forearm as an option. You can use the blocks if you play. You want to put a block under your arm if it won't reach. Maybe two. Great. One more inhale. Big exhale. Good. Come back up to your hands. Walk the right foot to the center of the mat there. Modified crescent. Inhale. Reach your arms high to the sky. Exhale. Gently cock those arms. Open the chest. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Half split. Straighten out the right leg. Point your right toes up towards the sky. Inhale. Lengthen through the back. And exhale, gently fold. Good. So through the right ankle, you can actually flex and point. You can rotate. This will stretch the calf muscles, especially the deep posterior compartment calf muscles, a little bit differently by just moving your ankle and foot. Inhale, lengthen forward and crawl, low lunge. Exhale, twist the right arm high, low lunge. Simple twist. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Warrior one. Inhale, take your arms up high to the sky. Hold on the exhale. <sighs> Square the shoulders. Steer the left hip back. Press through the feet so you're awakening these pelvic floor muscles as well. Pass down through the feet, really engaging the legs, and that comes up the chain. 
Take another deep inhale. You took the cactus arms on that first side. Go ahead and take it here. Exhale. Good. Inhale back up. Warrior one. Exhale. Warrior two. Open up. Find that long line through the middle. Roughly the middle of the mat. Sink into your lunge. Feeling the muscles around your groin. Stretch the inner thighs. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. Flip the left palm up, inhale, reverse warrior. Let your left side body get nice and long. Maybe bending at the elbow. Look up at the hand or back at your right heel. You can always add a half bind. Take one more inhale. And exhale. Good, breathe in. Straighten the left leg, exhale, trikonasana, triangle pose, left arm down, right arm high. Looking up at the right hand, or you can continue to look down at the left foot. Obviously, whatever feels most comfortable for you right now, focus on lengthening bilaterally through the spine. The muscles that parallel the spine. Take another breath. Exhale. Inhale, reach up, warrior two. Exhale, pivot the left toes towards the right. And then on this side, we're going to take a chest expansion. Interlace your fingers. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Come into Prasarita, Padottanasana. You can bend one knee and then the other. I'm just taking one more breath. Release the hands. Lift up halfway. Inhale. Runner's lunge to the front of your mat. Exhale, lower the right knee, walk the left foot wide. Stay up on your hands or come on down to your forearms. Just completely relax. One more breath. Good. Come back up to your hands. And walk your left hand towards the middle of the mat. Inhale, modify crescent. Reach arms high in the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. And more. Good. Push the left leg straight on your inhale. Exhale, half splits. Roll over the left leg. And so you'll notice throughout class I often do different arm expressions that I might not even cue. You can add on through the upper body in any way you want in most poses. So I'm just kind of noticing and examining where you feel tight in your body and responding to that with an upper body movement, heart opener, whatever it feels, whatever feels good there. Inhale, come back through your low lunge. And exhale, twist the left arm high, low lunge, simple twist to the left. Hold it for another breath. Good. And, and likewise, you, for example, bending the back knee here is going to give your Achilles tendon a slightly different stretch down by your heel. Take one more inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, hop or step. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Utkatasana. Prayer twist to the right. Exhale. Just here for a moment. Inhale, lengthen through the back. Exhale, push through palms and twist. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist through the mid upper back. Great. Inhale, chair. Exhale, press the legs straight, come up to stand. Ground down through the right foot. Tree pose. Bring your heel to inner thigh. Hands to heart. You can always place the left heel below the knee joint to the calf or kickstand your foot. But you do want the foot to be placed above the knee joint because your knee is not going to move in this frontal plane side to side. 
reach up. Stand tall. Take one more breath. Point your knee forward, inhale. Set foot down, exhale, switch sides. Right foot to inner left thigh. Vrikshasana, tree pose, opposite side. Pull the left hip in towards your midline. Take your arms high to the sky. Continue to breathe here. Deep inhale. Big breath, exhale. Lift through the crown. One more breath. Point your knee forward. Inhale. Set foot down. Exhale. Good work. Inhale from the top of your mat. Bend your knees. Warrior one. Left foot is going to step back. Inhale. Warrior two. Exhale. Open up. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Trikonasana. Triangle pose. Good work. Inhale. Up through. Warrior two. Exhale. Prasarita. Pivot the right toes to the left. Fold forward from the hips. Inhale, come on halfway. Low lunge back to the front of your mat. Exhale. This time, drop your left knee right away, and we're coming into modified crescent. Inhale. Exhale, hands through heart center, lengthen forward, twist to the right. Revolve crescent lunge, twist. Inhale, lengthen crown forward. Exhale, twist, press through the palms. Good. Looking up over right elbow or shoulder. Last breath. Inhale, look back at the front big toe. Modify crescent. Reach your arms up. Exhale, low lunge. Lift the left knee. Inhale, step it forward. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Good work. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Bend in the knees. Step right foot back. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Open up. Reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale. Triangle. Trikonasana. Left arm forward and down. Right arm high. Inhale. Warrior two. Exhale. Prasarita. Fold. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale, low lunge, back to the front. Drop your right knee down. Inhale, modify crescent, take arms high. And exhale, hands through heart. Revolve, crescent lunge, twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push through palms, ease into your twists. So the key here is as we're twisting, not twisting through the lumbar spine at all, but up the chain. So mid thoracic region. Inhale, exhale, look down at the left big toe, inhale, take arms up, exhale, low lunge, inhale, step it forward, halfway lift, and on your exhale, chaturanga or right back to down dog, inhale, up dog, child pose or down dog on the exhale. And if you took child, come back to down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the right side. Take your right knee up behind the right wrist. Lower the left knee to the mat. Keep your heart lifted. Inhale. Or you can fold down to forearms on the exhale. Maybe putting a block beneath your forehead. It feels good. Start to deepen your breath even more here. And gently 
Come back up to your hands. Tuck your left toes. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Open dog, exhale. Flip it over and come to wild thing. Press through the knife edge side of the left foot. Take your right arm forward, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, left side. Set your left knee up behind the left wrist. Point the right toes back. You can stay upright or again, fold down to forearms. Your preference completely here. Noting any asymmetries side to side. One side feels tighter. It's not necessarily bad, but it's just, it's interesting. So pay attention to these asymmetries. And through your yoga practice, things do evolve to become a little bit more symmetrical. Take another deep breath. Let your exhale bring you in a little bit deeper. One more. Back up to your hands. As you're ready, take your time. Tuck the right toes under. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, open dog, pausing there, or flip over, and come to wild thing. Left heel is going to stay lifted, lift up through the left arm. You can let your head fall back, or look back at the left hand. Take another breath. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, drop the knees, lower to your belly. Interlace your fingers at the low back. Exhale everything out. Shrug the shoulders away from ears, shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift the chest and lift the legs. Tall and boss on. Hold on the exhale. Press down through the pubic bone, lift up. Inhale. And exhale, lower. Bring one cheek to the mat, belly down to balsana. You can windshield wipe your feet side to side. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Chin back to center. Inhale. Lift up through seated. Swing your legs forward. Seated forward fold. You can use the strap again, especially if your hamstrings are feeling tight. Inhale, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, lift the strap around the ball mound with your uh, feet again. And fold forward. So you might fold all the way down. Um, you might even be able to grab your feet without the strap, okay? pulling the tops of your feet towards you. But the strap is a really nice way to keep your back long and to keep your heart open as you fold. One more breath. Good. Set the strap over to one side again. Scoot your heels towards the front of the mat and come all the way down to your back. Happy baby, feet up high to the sky, capture your feet, back it out side to side, big inhale, exhale, one more, breathe in, breathe out, so good. Just like our warm up, when we're moving pose, interlace fingers, and hook your right knee, extend the left leg. Breathe in and breathe out. Switch sides, hook the left knee, right leg long, inhale and exhale. Good, and then from here, we're gonna grab a block if you have it. If you don't have it, you get to do a little more work in bridge without the block. Set your feet up hips width distance apart. So your middle finger is gonna be just out of reach of the heel. Inhale, lift your hips. If you wanna put the block underneath, lift up to tippy toes, set the block so it's just above the glutes, right on that flat part of the low, low back known as the sacrum. Relax there. 
if it feels like any tension is being produced, you could move the block a little bit more towards the front of your mat and try to find that sweet spot to relax into the block. If you are there without the block, interlace your fingers and press down through the pinky side of your hands. Take another deep breath. Exhale. How about one more? Feeling the tension ease on the front of the hips. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your heels. Set the block over to one side. Good. Or behind you. And from there, hug your knees into your chest. Go drop side to side. We are going to finish with one more fun, great final pose, which is plow. Legs up high in the sky. Inhale. And then on your exhale, sweep your toes up overhead. Plow pose, halasana. Sweep. You can use your hands to kind of assist you back. I'll, I'll demo that, okay? Inhale. Exhale, sweep. Support your low back with your hands. And maybe hover the feet. So noticing varying degrees of tension in the back. Deep breath. And then super slowly, and all the way down. And come all the way up. You're seated. Flip your palms up. Now everything is feeling warm, revitalized, awake. So. If you prefer Shavasana, certainly take it. But this is a great way to finish your practice. To start your day, seated meditation. So come into Sukhasana, cross-legged. Lift up through your crown. Looking palms up for energy. Maybe taking your thumb and point your fingers together. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Just finding the subtle awareness back on the breath. Now that your body is completely warm and has prepared you to take this seat right here. We encourage you to spend as much time as you like in seated meditation. If you're ready to close out your practice, hands to heart center. Bring thumbs up to your third eye. Thank you all so much for joining me. Sealing in our practice with love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much.